Hey guys, Mr. and Mrs. Flashback here with the second video of the week, which we will see if it's Wednesdays and Thursdays. So, there you go. We sell stuff online if you're new. Uh, thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, we buy stuff cheap, try to sell online, eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, Facebook, Amazon for a profit. So today we're going to go over what sold in our online store. Linda will first go over the numbers so you have an idea of how many things sold and for how much. And then we'll show you the items. At the end of the video, we'll do a breakdown kind of what the profit should be. So we had 15 sales on eBay uh, for just under $6.90. Really good day again. We have pretty good days this week so far. Let's get into it though. So this is an original Apple Airport Extreme Base Station power supply. Sold for 10 and some change. Not a whole lot on that one. I think it was a dollar. Then we've got a Woodrow Wilson High School yearbook from 1983 that sold for $20 shipped. Usually I try to get $25 or more for my yearbooks, uh, but I have this one's been up for a while and it hasn't sold and I finally got an offer. We went back and forth and met at $20, so I figured it's good to get it out of here. Then we sold a rock band set we'll for a PS3. Screen. Comes with the drums, guitar, and the game. And the pedal. Oh, and the pedal. And it sold for two twenty dollars shipped. I think that was 35 bucks for all that. Probably cost us somewhere around 60 to ship it. Oh, it's going to California. Even better. So shipping should be nice. We won't have to worry as much about saving every inch on the box that we need. And um, that was a good one. Next up, we got a Keurig drip tray. This is the blue one. Sold for 14 and some change. Then we've got a Duluth Trading Company medium hooded jacket. And that sold for forty dollars shipped. We've had some for a while too. We finally took a best offer of forty. So, what's next? Next up, we've got this vintage uh, peanuts Happy Thanksgiving uh, decoration, yeah, and that sold for twelve dollars shipped. Originally, it was eighty-five cents. Would have been a good investment. So yeah. Like a few bucks. Then we've got a PI8. Next up, we've got a Max Factory X Masaki Apsi figure. This is figure number 167. It's missing a couple pieces, but most of it's in there. The figure is, and like whatever that chain is, and some of the hair and different stuff. And that did sell for $79 and some change, and it is going global shipping program. Cool. That Next. was 10 bucks. From our new source, Arna. Yeah. Then we've got a pair of Allegrias. This is the floral leather comfort Mary Jane shoes. Really good shape on these. And those sold for forty-three dollars shipped, and we did pick them up at a thrift store in our sister town. Yeah, I think they were twelve bucks. Paid up for them, but I knew they would sell. So I'm happy about that. Then we've got a iPad Air fourth gen um, box only. And that box itself for seventeen dollars shipped. Oh, these ones end up going to first class or no? Maybe we'll see. I think sometimes the tablet ones do. It's the uh, MacBook ones that do not. So yeah, if you saw a right. MacBook one ages ago, priority mail. Then we've got a pair of men's Champion Rally crossover shoes. They have uh, the big Champion spell out on them and like logos, so that's usually desirable. And those did sell for thirty-five dollars shipped. And they came in the hundred dollars shoe buy that we had. From our main source. Then we've got this cute snowman Christmas stocking. It's a pretty big one. He's got a little, he's in a little bag that says, says joy. joy on it, and that did sell for $32 shipped. Super soft. I don't know what year it's from. It's pretty big though. It's yeah. super soft. Last year we sold probably seven or eight like little plush stockings like this. So we, I usually pick them up for a buck or two at state sales, garage sales. Try to find older ones if possible, but they usually end up selling. Then we've got a pair of USMC Digital Woodland shirts. They are medium, regular, and those sold for $40 shipped. Same size. Next up, a four-pack of 2020 Collectors Hot Wheels. These are the Fast and Furious sets, Walk and that sold for 10 and some change. Not a whole lot on that one. And last but not least, out of um, the stuff the fishing stuff that camera purchased we did sell one of these real boxes already it's the gold ones and the boxes are actually kind of like a video game box where it's the case only it sells for it yeah this uh real sells for it. it's the pen international this is the 12t the gold box and that sold for 23 and some change also we sold for 30 this one sold for 23 so pretty good deal though these came from that big 80 dollars fishing buy i think we're probably almost breaking even right now um, we still have a lot of lures and stuff to sell, but oddly the two boxes have sold and some odds and ends have sold. So it's been pretty cool. That's all we got guys. Pretty much a bread and butter type day aside from the rock band being the big sale, but a lot of solid stuff, stuff that I believe you probably could find at garage sales. We're going to get this packed up and we'll be back in a second with what sells. 
uh, tomorrow, Thursday. Hey guys, we're back with Thursday's sales. You saw Wednesday's just a second ago. We're going to jump into what's sold today. First, Linda's going to... We're going to jump. No. And then it's going to jump and go into the numbers first. How do we do? So we did 14 sales on just eBay today, but that's okay. Um, and we had just uh, pennies under 880. Dude, it's been awesome. This week is probably, yeah. it's probably been our best week all year. Uh, we've had a couple thousand dollar days because we sold a couple of those big tools, but they really kind of are outliers. Um, today we have one item that's a little bit kind of a crazy number, but this week I think we had a, a $900 day on Monday. 600 a little over 600 and now 800 for thursday yeah. so it's been awesome we're really happy super blessed super thankful um this is why you keep listing guys and keep plugging along and just you know plugging plug in. just plug things in boom, boom. The usb doesn't along. go in the first way you just try again and try again until it goes in anyways give you a chance to get it right yeah usually so, you get it wrong the first time though. yeah that's true let's go over the items so this will give you an idea what to look out for when you're at garage sales at thrift stores and all those good fun places what do we got first care about things shooting out dust look at Nasty. And Linda's going to clean this up a little bit. So, first up, when in doubt, part it out. Cameron picks up old vacuums. I don't even know if I have the filter in there, do I? I don't know. I don't think I do. Okay, good. Because it's gross. Um, so, yeah, it just says filter cover. I don't yeah, know I think it. I must have put it in there. I don't know why I did, but I put it in there in case maybe I wanted to sell it at some point. But we're just going to sell the, the front cover. Yeah, because it's gross. But anyways, um, Cameron picks up old vacuums and parts them out, pulls off the fronts, the tubes, the canisters, the handles. The, the head nozzle. Uh, sometimes the rolls, sometimes everything. Piece. It just depends on the condition of the unit. Like if the motor's not working, but the roller is still going to pull out the roller. If the whole yep. front motor is working, we'll pull that out, the hose. And it's not just any vacuum. We're talking about usually Sharks and Dysons, usually higher end or more expensive vacuums, or at least ones that a lot of people have. Yep. Granted, if I get any vacuum for free, I might try to pardon it out. But anyways, this one. This is a Shark Navigator vacuum. It's the filter cover, and it sold for $13 shipped. This is just a piece. If you don't have any, you don't need screws. It's just a little snap, and you pull it off. It's like a little clip on the front or the bottom. Boom, and it comes out. Uh, very easy. Uh, I paid 5 bucks for the vacuum. We sold the head to it for 65 bucks the other day that's the main unit at the bottom i just sold this for we're writing the profit but I sold it this week this week actually yeah. yeah so i love vacuums i think i have two more over there still to work on i try to pick them up when i can and you know part them out as i go yeah uh, next item just sold after i listed it last night this is a wolfgang puck food processor lid and pusher only and that sold for 30 dollars a little dusty from that thing i think but yeah this was um five bucks for the whole unit the wolfgang it's a red one Almost brand new, paid at a state sale, and this already sold overnight for thirty. Probably cost ten to twelve to ship it, and we have a bunch of other parts. We'll probably sell over a hundred when it's all said and done. Next up, Cameron's obsession with hair. <laughs> this is um, a weird one. He picked up a bunch of doll wigs. Um, so this is an Auburn size seven to eight vintage, and it fits uh, number one forty eight Danny doll, and <laughs> that did sell for twenty five dollars shipped. And that's from um, our thrift store, Saks Avenue. Yeah, I just started going. I've gone there twice. Well, I used to go a long time ago, but only twice since they've moved. And um, yeah, got a bunch of these wigs. Probably got like 12 or 15 yeah, of these. I pulled open a bucket the other day and I was like, ew, it's full of hair. Yeah, and they're all new. But um, yeah, and then I got a gross. bunch of little ones in sealed plastic. I probably spent 30 bucks on everything I bought that day. Everything was half off. These were a buck 50. And this sold overnight for 25. First one to sell. There you go. Next up, we've got the Blessed Life paper bag book and DVD sealed. It sold for $20 shipped. It's from the dead stock buy of stuff. So. Then uh, Cameron's fishing pickup. That's he got a lot well. of fishing stuff. Careful. We actually sold, you remember, we sold a bunch of these before. Yeah. These little metal These jigs. are heavy iron fishing jigs. There's a lot of seven of them. We've got like brands like Salas, Tad, Tady. Iron Man 6, and those sold for $50 for so, the set. There's six of them? Seven. Seven of them? Uh, we had, well, last time I think we had like 12 or 14. We sold them for like almost 100. So these do sell if you can get them. Spend 80 bucks on all that fishing stuff. And now we're definitely in the profit at this point. Now here's our big one to start off the Christmas holiday season. No, we sold a stocking yesterday. Yeah, well, stockings are lame. This is our big one for the holiday season to start it off. They got to see this. They're not going to yeah. Go ahead and start talking so, about it. Uh, Cameron picked up a bunch of adorable... First off, no. This is where Linda has to just eat some crow because my friend called up and Linda had put an order in for DoorDash. And she goes, you have so much time before it's going to be here. I'm like, my friend's got stuff. But what did you say? You said, 
Call me when it's on the way and I will come home. But first, mind you, this guy lives two seconds from us. Not three. No. Three seconds from <laughs> he us. He lives like around the corner in the same neighborhood. But I told her, I said, it sounds good, baby. She didn't want me to go. She goes, you don't go over there. You don't need to. And I'm like, trust me, it feels good. And I went there. And granted, I may have been a little bit late, but not too late. I was pretty close. He was late. I was a little bit. But I spent... But he picked up a bunch of adorable Disney ornaments. Well, a lot of stuff. I got four bags of well, we, that, that's, that's Tigger irrelevant. stuff. Yeah, but, and yeah. It wasn't lots just ornaments. Of uh, 100... Oh, well, one of these is this one. This is adorable. Look at this Tigger, guys. He's so cute, and he's so soft. He looks like he's wearing pajamas. Like, if somebody did a Tigger nursery or a Winnie the Pooh nursery, this would be so adorable. Well, either way, we, he had, he had bought a storage unit with a lot. It was like a whole holiday bunch of stuff and toys and collectibles. He had two boxes full of Disney ornaments. Oops. I showed a little bit. Two boxes of Disney ornaments. <laughs> and he wanted a hundred, was it 120 or a hundred, but I don't remember. Only it was a couple weeks. I don't even remember, but he had like 15 of them that were ready. And he had another box of like 15, but his girlfriend wanted to go through a couple of those. She said she was going to take three and he was going to give me the rest. And in that box we have. We have this Disney Store Tangled Ever After, Rapunzel and um, Eugene I in wouldn't have known. their uh, wedding outfits. So this is after her hair is cut when she's a brunette now and they're in their adorable wedding outfits and they have the sun emblem for her kingdom on the bottom. It's Just super guess. Super adorable. You see this? This is you know small. It's this not that is, big. I believe, it was four inches. Is that? And I think it's from the two thousands. Like it's not like it's yeah. super super old or anything like that. It's not glass. It's not metal. It's plastic. Okay, we're talking plastic, guys. This ornament was in there, and I had no idea when I bought them. I bought them going, I'm gonna get a bunch of ornaments. I'm gonna sell them for ten to twenty five dollars a piece, but I'm spending like three bucks a piece. I'm gonna make plenty oh. of money. You put three thirty. Well, that's what I spent on all of oh, the okay. stuff. That's for the Tigger plush, for all the ornaments, and I got. I must only spend a hundred on it then. And then I also bought a hundred dollar box with four Nutcrackers. They have the um, Wizard of Oz Nutcrackers, each one of the characters. Oh, that's cute. Um, and a bunch of other Briars uh, choir people, if you know what those are. But anyways, Spires or whatever. Um, but this was in there. I had no idea, but I looked it up and I couldn't believe it. And this sold in a couple weeks for full price. At three hundred dollars ship. Three hundred. Linda better be very careful packing this puppy up. This will be on her today. She'll what... get wrapped and thrown in a bu bubble mailer. Yeah, we'll probably just poly mail her actually. Um, the crazy <laughs> thing is, I would have never guessed an ornament, even being Disney, would have that much value when it seems so. That's. It's plain. not like it's a fancy glass one and, or yeah, like. Or anything. by some famous it's, artist it, that we know it's of. It's like where it was the like plastic signed. you get of the Disney toys you get from McDonald's. If you were to it's buy a not... stormtrooper, like an ornament. It was. It's just like we have one. We have a stormtrooper. I think. And yeah. It feels like oh, that. the Hallmark ones. Yeah. And it's, again, yeah. there may we thought that some value, but three hundred guys. That's the first ornament to sell. We're in it for a hundred bucks for all the ornaments. So and I have like eighteen, twenty, whatever it is more, and I got a couple more I haven't even listed yet. Yeah. Um, and I'm, it's just so blessed by that. What a sale. So keep an eye out. Might be worth your time. Next. Next up, I know nothing will compare, but. Still pretty good <laughs> We had a vintage pair of men's burgundy Salvatore Ferragamos. Yep. And those sold for 58 and a half shipped. And I think those were 10 or 15, but they took a while to sell. Dress shoes, in my opinion, aren't selling as great as they used to. I think more people don't need them as much. Because well, if you're working from home. I think even people who do work, a lot of them have gone more to a business casual look. Yeah, it's not as formal. Those. And in every setting, there are some that still are, but yeah. a dress shoes sell a little slower for us, but those were Ferragamos. I had to pick them up. Then we've got a Shimano spinning reel. This is a 3500 no, spool. spool. Yeah, just this Shimano reel, just a spool, just to be clear. And that is out of the fishing buy, and that sold for $25 shipped. Fishing buy, guys. Not as cool as the ornament, but still, 80 bucks made some good money. I wouldn't have expected these uh, fishing stuff to sell right now during the winter season. I wouldn't expect, yeah. We, we I sold, was thinking, we sold okay, boxes. it's going gonna, it's gonna to sit there till about the summertime, but... And we sold lures now, I didn't expect fishing this reel boxes, at this season. that reel piece. What else did we sell? Oh, the patches. Yeah. That's what we sold 130 bucks worth yeah. of stuff probably. But and I wouldn't have, have expected it this early. Maybe people are just or this late in always the season. looking, you know? Yeah. 
And I'm sure there are some areas where people, I mean, people can fish in the colder water. You can, some fish is better, but we normally associate fishing more during the summer, especially because yeah. that's when her family fishes. Fish. But anyways, next item. Next up, we have a 04 to 07 Acura TSX manual, a $700 manual buy. It did sell for $140 shipped and it is going global shipping program. One of the good ones. We don't have any more of those left. No. Oh. But we have this. Then we have a 1978 to 1982 Dodge Plymouth Omnicharger Rampage Service Manual from Chilton. Sold for $8 shipped. Not good. We've had that for years. For years. So <laughs> happy to see it go. Then we've got a Sharper Image Ionic Breeze uh, Air Purifier. This is the rear, rear, rear grill part. I knew part. that because it said rear grill here. Some people is ask Is that my me, old one? Yeah. Okay. Well... We bought our one from, I don't know what we paid for it. I don't know. We used it for a while and it just died on us. And then I bought another one. Then we bought it I from, think it's both from him. Yeah, it is the same it's guy. from our main guy. He brought me another one. and I, Maybe an Ionic Breeze one. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, we have this. I think we spent like... I just said, I just, when mine goes bucks. out, he he buys, he brings me a new one. So. so we ended up parting out though. I think I sold, we sold the main filter, like the main line thing that goes through there. We sold we did, that. Yeah. We sold another piece. I don't know if we sold the base. We sold something. And now this piece, and it sold, sold for, for thirty-two dollars shipped. It'll probably cost us those sixteen to ship it, so we'll get it out of here. But I just grabbed this the other day, and I was like, man, I wonder if this will ever sell. Like two days ago, I grabbed it, and then boom. If you know anything about reselling, sometimes you'll go and grab something or think about something that hasn't sold, and just all of a sudden, it's like it's in the universe, and it just boom, it Weird. sells. Then now the seven hundred dollar manual buy. We have oh six oh seven oh eight Honda Civic Hybrid manual, one of the big boys. This is, thick. This is one of the thickest ones we have, probably. Oh. And that sold for thirty-four dollars. Grow up, grow up. <laughs> Next. Next from Saks again, we've got Stargate Sacks Triple Pack DVD, through. and that sold for twenty dollars shipped. This was a dollar fifty cents or something. I love that place. The prices are so cheap. But like today's half off, and I'm like, your prices feel like they're already half off when they're full price, let alone being half off. So that was a dollar or fifty cents, who knows? And last but not least, while I was pulling orders, this guy came through. This is a blue Acer Aspire One netbook, and that sold for seventy dollars shipped. So this came from our main source. It was um, cleaned off and everything. This one actually works well. I don't like selling a lot of laptops just because of uh, issues, uh, but he'll sell them to me sometimes, and I don't buy them as much as I used to. But this was ten bucks, and it sold for seventy. Uh, it'll be an easy shipper too. So. That's everything. <clears throat> this week has been great on eBay. Our other platforms haven't really done anything, but if that's okay if they don't, because eBay is coming through in the clutch. Yeah. And uh, we'll maybe see you guys in the next part with what sells on Friday or this weekend. No, we won't. That'll be all. We'll see you guys if anything else sells tonight. Thank you so much. Anything you want to say? No. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>